Welcome back to News 2020. Well, the news is coming in. The Satyam chairman has apparently resigned. Remember, there has been a lot of confusion over there in the company. Let's cut across to NDTV Prof. Crores on the interest accrued. Prashant. Shivnath, uh, I'll come to that straight away. You know, I'll just read out the first line of that press release. It says, it is with deep regret and tremendous burden that I'm carrying on my conscience that I would like to bring the following facts to your notice. Uh, you know, uh, I'll start out with the balance sheet items which uh, Mr. Raju has talk, talked about. So, you know, the first take is that Mr. Raju is not only resigning because of what has happened on the Satya Maitas fiasco, but he's now bringing to light why that particular deal was attempted in the first place. I'll just point out those facts. Uh, it says the balance sheet as on September 30, 2008 carries, uh, and I quote, inflated and non-existent cash and bank balances of 5,040 crores as against 5,361 crores as reflected in the books. Uh, the second point, an accrued interest of 376 crore, which is non-existent. The third point, which, he, which the press release mentions and which Mr. Raju is now bringing to light, is an understated liability of 1,230 crores on account of funds arranged by me. Uh, on all these counts, he now says this, these are the basic reasons why they try to perhaps shift some of the assets out of Satyam computers into, into MITA's infrastructure. He is now pretty much, uh, uh, you know, just to, comp just to comprehensively uh, uh, make sense of all these numbers, he's now saying there was a gap between what was stated in the, in, the, in the balance sheet and the real position of the company, which perhaps was in a much worse off shape purely because of uh, the promoters themselves. And that is the reason why the Satyam Maitas transaction was proposed, but ultimately it was doomed as well. One more point which actually it says is that the, the balance sheet as on September 30th has an overstated debtor's position of 490 crores. A debtor position of 490 crores. The difference, the stated amount was 2,651 uh, 2, crores. So a 2,000 crore uh, a, a, a 2,000 rupees crore variation in the debtor's position, outstanding debtor's position against what is actually stated. So these are some very, very serious numbers. And I'm just reading off the, I'm just skimming the first uh, page as far as the press release is concerned. If you go to the second page, and I'm just reading out as, uh, as we speak, the gap in the balance sheet has arisen purely on account of inflated profits over a period of last several years, limited only to Satyam standalone Books of subsidiaries reflecting the true performance. What started as a marginal gap between the actual operating performance and the one reflected in the books of accounts continued to grow over the years. It has, uh, it has attained, and this is the crucial part, it says that it has, the, the, the gap between the actual numbers and the inflated numbers which were shown in the books has attained unmanageable proportions as the size of the uh, size of the operations grew the differential in the real profits and the ones reflected in the books was further accentuated by the fact that the company had to carry additional resources and assets to justify higher level of operations thereby significantly increasing the costs shivna